did you do before pictures? Well, no. Well, six months ago, I had the same conversation with this guy that screwed up something else. And, you know, you can give me excuses all you want. Excuses don't get things done. The reason why I put that list together is, is so that you don't get excuses. Because if you're going to give excuses, guess what? Then you're going to be paying for new paint on the garage doors. You're going to be paying on new other stuff because you're giving me excuses. Don't give me excuses. Go do that. There's a process for it. And the reason why I give you the process is so that way when the customer calls you back and says you screwed up something, you say, uh-uh, here, here it is right here. Or, yep, you're right, ma'am. I did screw this up. I had the before picture where it was fine. Here's the after pictures. What do we got to do to make this right, right? Don't try to lie. Don't try to cover it up. That's not going to help you out. Now, if you've got a picture before that, hey, it was broke before versus now or it was dead before this tree was half dead before i ever started because here's all the brown you can see on it then guess what then they can't come back on me because i got the pictures and you want to go a step further you can send those pictures to your customers say hey miss jones i know you're not home i did my pre-inspection i just wanted to send you a pictures of the pre-inspection so that way um, I did find this, this, and this that is wrong, and I'm just letting you know and bringing it to your attention. So if you need to try to get this fixed or anything, we you can, right? And then once you get halfway through, you take a picture of that dirty. Man, Miss Jones, look how amazing this house is coming clean. And you might say, Jason, you want me to do all this stuff? Yes, I want you to give that customer an amazing experience because you know what? They will remember that...